Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be revisiting a, a very old quote unquote Easter egg in Halo 3. So, a long time ago, like, I'm talking like really early days of Halo 3, uh, people discovered that if you get out of the map on a mission Sierra 117 and you make your way like all the way far out of the map to like the hills in the distance, the forest, it, out there you'll find a hidden cave just sitting out there and Inside the cave, people noticed that if you look at the walls a certain way, or if you look long enough, you will see that there are literally like thousands of faces everywhere over the walls, depending on where you're looking and how hard you're looking. And, you know, for the longest time, everybody could swore they could see faces on the walls and everything. Uh, even I thought, like, I could kind of see some faces. But I... I did a video covering this later on, uh, several years ago actually now, not like five years ago or so, and in that video, I I didn't really think like there were actually faces there, I didn't think it was like an actual easter egg, I, I could kind of see where the faces are coming from, but when you look at it in like higher quality, higher resolutions on MCC, you don't really see it as well as on the 360 version, but you can still kind of see it from certain angles. But it, it turns out, like, they're not really faces on the wall. This is actually an effect, or like a perception effect, called pareidolia. I, I think I'm pronouncing that correct, but I could be wrong. But it's a it's kind of tendency for people to, to see objects, or signs, or faces, or patterns, where there actually isn't any. And there's been, like, a lot of examples. Like, people look at the clouds, or they look at, like, those old like pictures on Mars from NASA, they might see like a face on a rock or something, or they might see a face in the sky or something like that. But that that's what the effect is going on here. And the blurrier the picture, like the less clear something is, or the farther away, you know, the, the less you're able to see it clearly, the more likely you're able to, you're able to see patterns that don't actually exist. And th that's that's probably what happened with a 360 version, because the, the resolution was much lower compared to MCC, so back then it was a lot easier to see faces. Uh, but even on MCC, you could still kind of see it, but I don't think it's an actual Easter egg that Bungie put there. And I, I did actually explain what the cave mostly was for, which is, it's for the cutscene when the pelican flies on the dam and then lands there. And in that video, I, that's, I, I said that's what the purpose of the cave was, but I couldn't actually show it back then. I didn't really have the capabilities to. But the cutscene I'm talking about is this ending cutscene where the pelican flies away. And then it eventually uh, gets spotted by these two marines here, and you see the pelican approaching, and you can see this little like hole in front of the marines. That's the one that the pelican lands in, and that this hole is actually the cave that we're exploring. So all we're actually doing when we get to the cave of, of a thousand faces, quote unquote, is we're actually just getting to the cutscene room that's used for the pelican. But like I said, at the time when I made my previous video like five years ago, I couldn't actually prove it and show it to you. But now I can. Thanks to the official Halo 3 mod tools, I can actually detach the camera during a cutscene, and I can fly all the way out over the mountain to where the cave is, and we can actually see once and for all what's going on with the cave, what it's used for in real time. So there's the cave, and here's the scene with the marines spotting the pelican. If we detach the camera again and fly a little bit back and up a little bit, we can see there's the cave of a thousand faces again. And there is the pelican approaching the cave and using the cave to land at where you know the, the base on crow's nest would be. But of course, <laughs> the cave isn't actually there. It's not like the, the whole crow's nest map is not there. It's, it's not modeled or anything. They're just using the cave and. The interior of the cave, it's kept out of view of the camera, so it's supposed to fool you to think that it's landing in the base on Crow's Nest when they're actually just landing in a small cave that goes nowhere. So there you guys have it. That is what the Cave of a Thousand Faces actually is and why people thought they saw faces, but it's actually not an Easter egg. It's actually used for the cutscene. So hopefully you guys found this video to be interesting, and if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave thoughts in the comments, and if you guys want me to check out looking to you or explain better, just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.